Right troops, hopefully you can hear me because there's a bit of a gale blowing. But what we're doing here is we are remember, remembering and commemorating Armistice Day. The 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Now, in America it's also Veterans Day and I am a veteran. Now this is prompted not just by the event itself but also Expeditionary Johnny challenged us to have a meal on Veterans Day, Armistice Day using, if we have them, our military uh, mess kits and that's what I have here. I have the old Hexiburner stove which is my era and the modern BCB stove. So I'm boiling my water on one and cooking my dinner on the other. And we're just off the field in the hedge line out of sight Apart from the dog running around in the field, of course. And so I'm just putting together a dinner in the honour of certainly people I know that have died in service, personally. Friends, good friends. So I'm just going to sort this out and then we will have a moment's silence. Hey, come here. The hexi burner always does it, rolling boil. Oh, and the handle's hot, even with two gloves on. Now just before we pack up and move out, there's a poem which I think is very pertinent considering what today is all about. And it was written by a Major John McRae in the First World War. And he was a surgeon or physician. So after 17 days of heavy fighting, and I believe his best, one of his best friends was killed, he wrote this poem. And it's called, In Flanders Fields.
In Flanders fields. In Flanders fields the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row. That mark our place, and in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly, scarce heard amid the guns below. We are the dead. Short days ago we lived, felt dawn, saw sunset glow, loved and were loved, and now we lie in Flanders fields. Take up our quarrel with the foe. To you, from failing hands, we throw the torch. Be yours to hold it high. If ye break faith with us who die, we shall not sleep, though poppies grow in Flanders fields. <laughs>